Part 1. 3D Car Setup Download any car model from the internet, for example, from Sketchfab. Then rig the car. You can separate the car headlights if you want to animate them independently, or keep them together, but note that they won't be rigged with the car body. Next, select the rig and go into pose mode by pressing Ctrl plus Tab. Select the last bone, the one used for rotating the car. Press N to open the right-hand sidebar and set the Z-Rotation to 30 degrees. Now, click on the tire bone, go to frame 1, and insert a keyframe for the X-Rotation. Then, go to the last frame, for example, frame 250, and set the X-Rotation value to 20,000 degrees, and insert a keyframe. Repeat this same process for all four wheels. Once done, exit pose mode and return to object mode, Control plus tab. Part 2. Car animation and road. Move the car rig slightly away from the origin point. Then press Shift A. Choose Curve Circle. Now, select the car rig. Then Shift select the Bezier circle. Press Ctrl P and choose Object Keep Transform. Select the Bezier circle. Go to Frame 1 and add a keyframe on Z Rotation. Then, go to Frame 300. Set the Z Rotation to 1080 degrees and insert a keyframe. Next, add a road. Press Shift A. Choose Image, Reference, and import a road texture. Then, add a mesh, plane, and scale it to match. Go to the Modifier tab, add an Array modifier, and set the count to 3. Then, add a Curve modifier, and for the Curve object, select the Bezier Circle. Duplicate the Bezier Circle by pressing Shift-D. Now, download a Barrier Model, available on Sketchfab, and add an Array modifier, Set count to around 19 depending on your scene. Add a curve modifier. Select the duplicated Bezier circle and adjust the size to align the barriers correctly. Repeat this to create barriers on both sides of the road. Part 3. Environment Setup. Download mountain models, two to three types from Sketchfab, and place them around the road model you just created. Add a tree model, then press Shift-A, Mesh Plane. In the particle system, set the number, for example, 200 or more, to distribute trees. Place the trees below the road model so only the top part is visible. Just like the mountains, download and place rock models in the center and edges of the road. Then, press Shift-A to add a Mesh Cube. Scale it based on your scene. Go to the Shader Editor, add a principled volume shader, and use the same values I used, you'll see in the video. Change the shading context from object to world for the background and add an HDRI of your choice. Part 4. Camera Placement Press Shift-A to add a camera to the scene. Then press Ctrl-Alt and Numpad-0 to snap the camera view. Select the camera. Then Shift-Select the car rig and parent them. Ctrl-P. Add keyframes at different angles to create various camera shots of the car. To create the smoke simulation, watch my separate tutorial on this topic. Link in the description. Finally, copy my render settings from the video and render the animation.